All right. Y'all already know what it is. We knocking these things at. Okay. So we back with yet another reaction video. Fall in love with me. I introduce her to the game and let her thug with me. She be like Bunny and Clyde. She even clutching me. I feel like it's you would die. She give her soul to me. She want to be close to me. Oh, she say she fuck with me the long way. She say she gonna run my back. I had a long day. She say, baby, I ain't gonna lead you down the wrong way. Okay, so it's getting late and my neighbor's gonna start neighboring. So I'm gonna try to hurry up. This gonna be it. Y'all gonna see this outfit and this whole ensemble in like three videos. Cause we knocking them out today. Mm, we knocking them out. We gotta get this content when it come, when I got time. And today I had time. So I was like, let me do this. Okay. So uh, ignore anything you hear in the background. We live in the ghetto. Y'all already know. Now this one I found cause I be having a peruse the streets of YouTubes. This one I found from Talk Jockey's uh, YouTube, so make sure you go over there and show them some love. Credit to them. I got to get my credit where the credit is due. Girl, cover up all that nappy sideburn you got. You understand? Now, I like this one. I ain't even seen it yet, but I like the title. Walmart is wild. <laughs> Walmart is wild, public freakouts, funny Karens, and more. It was the Walmart is wild for me. Y'all know I be I be coming for Walmart so tough. I do, because I hate Walmart, and it's always some shit happening at Walmart, which is why I hate Walmart. I don't like the store, period, but I really don't fuck with Walmart. I hate it. Every bit of it. So I was like, yeah, this this it. This it. I hope this one is good. It's 16 minutes, so it's kind of lengthy. So we about to see. We about to see. If I don't like it, I'm going to fast forward it. Fast forward. Yeah, that's right. Fuck it. Whatever. Make sure we're recording. <clears throat> and let's go. Shorty, what the hell are you, are you doing? doing? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, my God. <laughs> the fuckery that's happening. <laughs> hell yeah, you kicked out. What the fuck? Boy, I tell you, all more workers go through it. Let me tell you. Is that the groceries on the track? On the floor? <laughs> I will record it last This is your job. Oh, she mad. She Baby, she don't give a fuck about that job. Whatever it was, that's me. That's me. That's me. That's me. That's me. I'm fine. Not all. Oh, no. 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 I did not just see a bunny. I just not, I, I didn't see a bonnet. I didn't see a bonnet in public. I did not. Please, God. Please, God. I didn't see a bonnet in public. Natalie made a video about this because talk about somebody who absolutely hates bonnets in public is Natalie. <laughs> but I, don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Please, y'all, don't do that. I, I can't wear no bonnet in public. I just cannot come go out the house in a bonnet. Like, I'm trying to think, have I ever went out? I think the only place I've ever been with a bonnet on is probably if I was going through the drive through to get me something to eat. It, it, matter of fact, the only time I do it is, y'all know I got insomnia. So I wake up or I don't go to sleep and then it be five in the morning and I got to run to Shipley's. But I still got on my bonnet and my robe. It's five o'clock in the morning. I'm supposed to be asleep. I was in the bed. That's probably the only time I keep my bonnet on, and nine times out of ten is because I don't even realize I got that bitch on. I'm so sleepy. Other than that, y'all gonna see one of these on my head. Amazon, ten pack, go get that. They got too many of these in the beauty supply stores on Amazon. You, baby, I literally, y'all understand me when I tell you my afro is up under here. I just put it on like a cap. Hmm. I just put it on like a cap. And I got scarves that I actually make wraps with. It's too many options. Don't do that. <laughs> and it's pink. You could at least get oh, a black one. Walmart thief got caught. Oh, God damn. Oh, he... he be, sir. Sir. It ain't that serious. If you gonna steal, do it discreetly. <laughs> What the fuck was he stealing? <laughs> he was running so 
fast. He had a bad stove. Like it was a cold stove. I told you he was gonna try. He tried the whole damn stove. Wait, y'all don't know how to steal right. God damn. How you gonna steal and run? Like they ain't got a million people in Wild Bar ready to catch your ass. Plain clothes and all. What the fuck? <laughs> oh my God. What the fuck? Can I get outside security? <laughs> This one kind of okay. tricky because she was probably wrong. She cut the line. She don't. She having a, a break freak out. But at the same time, if she's for real, which I mean, with that kind of trauma, I've seen it, and she really was recently raped. She could very well be having a, a mental breakdown. Like I can't even really comment on this one because, like that, that could be legitimate. Because we never know when it's coming. Like I don't have public freakouts like this. Like my freakouts not that bad. But if it's fresh and she hasn't handled it properly, because sometimes as a survivor or a victim, you had a mindset where you think you forget about it and you just want to keep going. But then your mind and your body still reacts to the trauma. So you're going to have those moments where you're triggered and you never know when they're going to come. You never know the severity of it. And if it's this fresh, if it was brutal, this could very well be happening. Not saying she wasn't wrong if she cut the line, but at the same time, this is one public freak out. I probably, I can't really comment on that. Other than what I just said. She threw some of my stuff. Where's your stuff? I hell if I know. I'm so sorry. You're not, you're not sorry. She wasn't sorry when she cut in line. Fuck and you! Screamed. Sir, it ain't that serious. She already apologized now. She probably really is going through. I just asked her if she saw anyone in line. That's an adult. And she probably thinks she can be in public and she can't. Yeah, you got to, if you, ooh. Go. What the fuck? This is the type of shit white kids be doing. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> See ya. Now, had, now, had that been a black boy, that would have went so many other ways. This is the type of shit that white, white kids be doing. This is the type of shit that white kids be doing. Ain't no black kid finna throw no ball across Walmart. Especially if they with their mama. I'm finna beat the brakes off your ass on aisle three. Please don't play with me. You ain't even supposed to touch nothing when you go in the store. Yeah, that's a white kid. You know me? I'm just like, what you look like? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not 
Not compassion for people who are yelling at customer service people. We have no compassion for people who are yelling. Yeah, why are you going there yelling at people? We patiently wait in line until we can be helped. Then that's on you. Okay, well it's raining outside. That's the best way to go. Oh my she god. She says she moist. I'm damp. <laughs> Damn, I can't do shit but laugh. <laughs> Damn. I don't even know what's happening. I just know she moist. She saturated. If you know, you know. Don't be. I know that ain't what I. I know that ain't what I think it is. What in the hell? Is he trying to see how soft the pillow is? I can't, you know what? I can't even be mad Walmart at him. Manager I can't even be mad at him because I don't do this shit before. <laughs> Nigga, I got to see if it's soft enough on my head before I buy it, but I do it on the aisle. I'm like, <laughs> sir, you already put it in the basket. You should have did that before you picked it up. <laughs> this is shopping cart away. Well, my man, just takes the shopping cart. Come on, man. It's an L Walmart in the chat, bro. Come on, man. Come on, man. This is wrong. Why Walmart is savage? God damn. Walmart is going wild. Hell no. Where these people be at? Y'all know what be funny is when white people go up against white people. <laughs> Cause it be like both of them and they both got the same level of anger and then they get into get the fuck out. No, you're not gonna tell me what to do. Like it'd be so funny when they go up against each other. Like that shit is entertainment for black folks. Like y'all talk about us all the time and how we violent and do all this shit, but y'all really don't understand y'all do the same shit if if not worse. Y'all gonna quit playing with these Walmart workers, baby, because they patients be real big. So this is an eclectic Walmart aisle. We've got our canes, and we've got bedside commodes. What's the point? We have our diabetes supplies, and we have jump ropes. What's the point? Como que le falta mantenimiento a estas cosas. No, he did. Bitch. <laughs> Ask this young lady to find me a manager. Ask this young lady to find me a manager. Hold on, y'all. <laughs> Did she just put WD-40 on the Walmart wheels? On the basket wheels? Did he just put WD-40? I thought I seen it all. Because I, I need some help. But she won't find me a manager. I'm but very I'm uncomfortable. In the radio section. I'd I love someone to help you. What else do you need? I asked you for a manager. Okay. And you told me you don't know who the manager is. He's insisting on a manager. He just needed help in automotive, but now he will not leave me alone. Okay, so now hold on, because I, I got to I got to put on that camera. on the on the actual worker because so I can report that she would not If you don't like me. your job, quit. I called someone where you needed. You asked I asked for a manager. You told me you don't have one. And I asked for any man. Yeah, I mean, just say, can I get a... Okay, I know. used to work at Target. So, I got to lean on the customer side with this one. Ma'am, if you don't want to do your job, if you having a bad day, leave that shit at home. Go, or go get another job. Because when I used to work at Target, if somebody asked for a manager, we have walkie-talkie. Everybody has a walkie-talkie. Can I get a manager in the auto section? You, you don't have to know who the manager is. Just ask for a manager. Because most times, because it's so many workers, we don't know what manager is on duty unless you know the manager. Like, I knew Miss Tanya. Like, she worked all the time. But most times, you don't know who the manager on duty is, especially if you work a certain department. 
but you just ask for a manager. You just say you need a manager in whatever section. So it don't matter if you don't know who the manager is. You just easily get on the radio and call the manager. Like, then that would have been the end of that. If that's all he wanted, that's all you should have did. I feel like you're doing this because he black. I ain't going to go there. And you're not really helping Can me. Can you leave me alone? Oh, yeah. yeah. Please. She needs to Stop quit. Stop harassing me. I'm asking for a manager. And he's so calm, And y'all see what she's doing. And he's so calm. Yeah, baby, you need to quit your job. For what? Nah, for what? For what? Nah. She, oh, damn. Okay, spin it around one time. No damn wrong. So I just keep running my business. No scrap, no. This lady trying to return meat. Oh, I gotta turn it. It's loud in my ear, y'all. She's saying she bought it last week. Just wait. Wait, now she bought the. Ugh, baby, you can't return. Just throw that in the garbage. You... Excuse me, do you know where the diapers are? <laughs> this wild ass. Nobody. <laughs> two different videos because I can't even we eight minutes in and I cannot stop <laughs> shut up James god damn <laughs> get your head oh, oh. it's gonna be a video of me laughing police I don't give up I'm above the line <laughs> she on some shit she is on some shit. Oh, what the fuck? What the hell is happening? Y'all, this ain't real. People don't be doing it. Oh my god. Stop it. Baby, if you ain't want to walk, you should have stayed in the car. That means any Walmart in the world. Oh, damn. You are trespassed. You are not allowed in any Walmart. You could no be banned from every Walmart? Club, no Murphy gas station. All of that is a part of Walmart's property. You are not allowed. Damn, what? what do you do? Because of the commotion that you caused yesterday. They could have went very bad. Oh, shit. Very I mean, bad. I don't care how you... Hold on. He had to have caused some serious commotion to be banned from every Walmart in the world? I didn't even know that shit was possible. Damn. That's what they want you to do. Go stay in your house. Go lay down and die. That's what you they want you to do. You better call the cops. I've been asking your assistant. Y'all got to get medication for these people. What the hell? Are you pooping? <laughs> I can't. I can't. I, I'm trying not to laugh. I'm trying not to laugh. Lord, I'm going to hell. I'm trying not to laugh. I'm trying not to laugh. What? It's a whole deer in Walmart. I don't even have time to react. These moving so fast. Stop following people to their car. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, hell. What the fucking point was? Come on. I want to see it move. Back in, huh? Dad, I'm gonna have to call you right back. Caught stealing right at Walmart. Oh, I'm sorry, y'all can go around me. It's all open. Wait, who got caught stealing? Is it gonna be obvious? Yeah. Is this something in the back of it? Y'all, it's definitely something, but it's something in his pants. Oh my god. Sir. S <laughs> That is not, bro. Y'all gotta get y'all stealing game up. That is not how you steal. Why you had, you made it so obvious? Who the fuck taught y'all to be thieves? Y'all need to find another profession because clearly, 
criminalism ain't it. Like, you ain't made for stealing. Why? Never mind. Just never mind. Bonnie wasn't having it that day. Cheryl said no. Not today. Baby, she is blocking every part of that basket. <laughs> Wait, does she work here? Oh, she need to quit. Oh yeah, you fired. You for sure fired. You might as well go ahead and clock out. Shout out to Natalie. Yeah, you might as well go ahead and clock out. You right, only some stupid shit at Walmart. What the hell? I'm gonna fucking knock the head right off your head. Shit! The employees are so used to this behavior. Yeah, they don't even be, they don't be phased. They really don't be phased. They only jump in if necessary. And it's two white dudes from what it looked like. Them big white, them big country corn bread fed ass white niggas. Them be the ones that pull out rifles and shit. I try not to piss them off because they be wanting to cut your head off. Them, they give serial killer vibes. Baby, they don't even care. They, <laughs> business as usual. But can y'all move the kid though? Like, I, I my baby can't walk around because I don't know what's gonna fly. I don't know who gonna fly. I'd be like, baby, all right, come on this side, because I would hate to have to kill one of these people for my child. Yeah, they not phased. Baby, I bet Walmart be giving some action. I know them workers be sick of it. One of my little mentees work at Walmart, and I don't know how she do it. Baby, all my heart go out to every Walmart employee. What do you do with people knocking shit over? <laughs> That's why Walmart be looking like garbage. Ooh, all the bakery items. Maybe the croissants is on the floor. Jesus. Fun day at Walmart always. What the fuck, man, leave? He's gonna get his ass beat. That's a big nigga. That's a big old strong ass man. He real strong. He real strong. Yeah, he like he box for real in real life. I you might want to leave him alone. Hey, he look like he's grown. <laughs> he look real strong. Don't yeah no no he a professional. I would I would definitely leave that one alone. I will leave that one alone. Hey, bro, bro, that's enough. That's enough. Do your shit so we can go. Hey, hey, I don't this, even know who wrong. I don't even know who wrong. Oh, what is it? Black man getting into it? He big too now. Okay, that was confusing a little bit. And that's the one that quit me off. I'm walking this way. See, this is why I don't like vlogging in public. Face. This is exactly and why it's so hard to vlog in public because people really want to defend, defend, defend myself. myself. And it's all on camera, too. Well, you don't raise your fist to a man. Facts. I hate when people try to record shit and they don't record it. Come on now, if you won't be bold and record it, do it right. Damn. Come on now. There you go. Give me some action. Oh, shit. Uh oh. Uh-uh, she putting some voodoo on y'all shit. Y'all better say it. <laughs> she putting some voodoo on y'all shit. I don't understand what she said. I'd be like, mm-mm. Mm-mm. Oh, she got mad. I swear, people got to be on drugs. Oh, shit. Uh-uh. Yeah, no. 
Uh-uh. Yeah, she can't video. be trusted. <laughs> she can't be trusted at all. Hey, this shit's going on. She definitely cannot be trusted. Hey, it's 2021. I'm putting this shit on TikTok. I'm putting this shit on TikTok. All right. Well, that was the end of that. Uh-uh. I'm going to have to cut the end of that music off. Because <laughs> that's what we ain't going to do. But, okay. That was the second one. That was a little lengthy, but it wasn't as long as I thought. Them clips was coming fast. That's going to be a whole video of me laughing. Shit. That's... <laughs> That shit was funny. <laughs> like, it was the title that got me. Y'all know I had to. It said Walmart is wild, which it is. So I had to react to that. I didn't even know what was coming, but all of it, it just, it gave me very much funny. Like, this wild go to Walmart. And with that being said, my neighbors starting to get on my damn nerves, and they loud as hell. So I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.